Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to see a simple lecture on intellectual property rights or IPR. Intellectual property, it's a property which is arising from the human creation. It creates some legal rights and duties and these rights must be protected from wrongdoers with the help of law. IPR, it is playing an important role in the development of industry, commerce and trade in a country. So, every country is taking special interest to safeguard the legal rights of the inventors. So, the inventors, they get encouragement to work with their intelligence and labor. Next, we will see the different forms of IPR. Patent, Copyright, Trademark, Trade Secret, Design and Geographical Indication. First is patent. It is a monopoly right. That is, it is granted to a person for his invention. The only thing is that the invention, it must be a new useful article or a new process. Government is issuing the patent to the inventor in the form of a legal document and it is granting some exclusive rights to the inventor. It prevents others from making, using or selling the invention in the country. So, the term of patent granted in India is 20 years and the patent is granted to encourage the inventors and also to safeguard the inventors. Then this is the symbol of patent. Then duties of a patentee. That is on getting patent, the patent should be used fairly or that is it should not be used unfairly. That is it should be available in the market at reasonable price to the public. Then some important characteristics of a substance or of, a, of an invention to be patented. So it must be novel. That is novelty. Newness of an invention is very important. It must not be published or it must not be patented in any world in the country or in the world before. Then non obviousness the invention must be non obvious to a person skilled in the art to which the invention relates. Usefulness. The invention, it must be useful. If it is not beneficial to the mankind, it cannot be patented. So, these are the important characters for an invention to be patented. Next is the filing of patent application. First, we have to prepare an application for getting the patent and it must be filed in the patent office. Then the patent office examine the application and they will put an advertisement for opposition if any. And if there is any opposition, the hearing of parties is done and after opposition or after discussions, the patent will be granted. Then importance of patent information. This is to avoid duplication of research to improve existing technology and to increase production, to identify new products for marketing, to find out patent owners and also to find out a new technology for business. Next is copyright. This is an exclusive right which is given to an author or a composer to print, publish or sell copies of his original work. It is also a monopoly right. It is a negative right as it is prohibiting others from copying or reproducing the work. Then, this is the symbol of copyright. Then, what all things can be, uh, com uh, are coming under copyright? They are literary or dramatic works, musical work, artistic work, cinematograph film, sound recording, photograph, computer generated work, all are coming under copyright. So, some important exclusive rights of Copyright holders are, they have the right to produce copies of the work and to sell those copies. They can import or export the work. They can create the derivatives from the original work. They can perform or display the work publicly. They can sell or assign these rights to others. They can transmit or display by radio or video. And the term of copyright, it is mainly or it is generally lasting for 60 years. And anyone who claims copyright can use the symbol. Next is trademark. This is the indication of quality and the goodwill of a trade organization. 
and it helps the consumers to identify the product easily and it also helps the manufacturer to improve its marketing of goods and to acquire the goodwill and reputation among the customers the trademark it is playing an important role it is uh, either in the form of a symbol that is in the form of a letter word label picture etc symbol it is seen attached to the goods of trade so um, by this trademark the customers they can distinguish the products uh, the similar goods that is they can distinguish the goods from the similar goods and also to identify the goods with a particular manufacturer the trademark helps the customers the trademark may be registered or unregistered these are the symbols of registered trademark unregistered trademark and unregistered service trademark these are some important trademarks you all are familiar with these trademarks then next is trademark registration that is the application must be filed then if there is objection uh, we have to again uh, file the application and after acceptance uh, publishing uh, publication that is journal publication or advertisement is done for opposition if there is no opposition uh, we can see uh, the trademark will be registered or registration of trademark uh, will be done then design an apparent appearance of any article or good may be called as design so it plays an important role in the field of trade and commerce people are always influenced by design of some uh, products in addition to its quality so main object of or objective of design act 1911 is to provide protection for original industry and design articles these are some important designs examples of designs then any person who claims himself to be the proprietor of a new uh, or original design can make an application to the controller for the registration of designs so the application it must be made in prescribed format it must be filed in the patent office and the designs the after examination uh, they will be getting uh, this registration of design so the design for registration the design it must be new if it is not new or original the such type of designs are prohibited and this is the steps in filing of design application then after application examination uh, sometimes it will be accepted or rejected if it is accepted uh, then a publication in official journal for opposition if there is no opposition the uh, certificate will be issued and can be renewed after 10 years and it can be extended further for 5 years also the next is trade secret any process or practice of a company that is generally not known to outside is called trade secret that it is a secret of their of the company and it is giving economic advantage to the company over competitors so it is not publicly known variety of forms can be seen in the case of trade secret that is the trade secret may be in the form of process formula recipe method or practice and it will not be evident to the uh, evident to others trade secret is actively protected and the secret formula of coca cola recipe of kfc are some important examples of trade secret next is geographical indications it is an indication it originates from a definite geographical territory so it is used to identify goods having special characteristics originating from a definite geographical territory for example uh, mysore silk basmati rice these are examples mysore sandal soap okay kolapuri chappal tirupati laddu these are all examples of geographical indications so it is used to identify agricultural natural or manufactured goods and the manufactured goods should be produced or processed or prepared in that particular territory it should have a special quality or reputation or other characteristics benefits of geographical indications it confers legal protection it prevents unauthorized use of a registered geographical indication by others and it is promoting economic prosperity of the producers in that particular geographical territory it boosts the export then it can serve as source identifiers for customers helps the producers to develop customer loyalty then uh, plays a role in consumer decision that is the consumers are ready to pay a higher price for regionally branded food products so it plays a role in consumer decision 
one important example is geographical location is an important component of wine pricing these are some important examples of geographical indications in india that is mysore silk you all are familiar with this mysore silk kurg orange basmati rice mysore sandalwood oil sandal soap mysore jasmine tirupati ladu darjeeling tea madhubani paintings okay alfonso mango kolapuri chappal etc similarly some important geographical indications in worlds uh, world are canadian whiskey okay florida orange swiss watch etc so that's all about ipr so we have discussed ipr then different forms of ipr and how can we get patent then what is the importance of ipr etc hope you will understand the session thank you have a nice day